Hello everyone, let's look at this integral here. This is an integral of ln of x squared. And so to integrate this function, we are going to use integration by parts. And in this video, I'm going to use the tabular method or the row integration by parts method to find the antiderivative for ln x squared. Okay, so let's set up the table. So now we have the table here, just the usual column. Sometimes people also call this the DI method because there was one column that we are differentiating. There was one column that we are integrating. And I will have this um, extra note column here to help us keep track of when we need to stop or when we need to, um, whether we need to stop or we can, or we have to continue. Okay, so let's get started on this. So first we are going to put the plus sign right here. Right, that's our um, first row here. And then now we got to choose our U because this is really just the U column and that's the DV column. And how do we choose this one? We can simply just let uh, U be the whole function, be the whole ln function here. So if we do that, then we are going to let U be ln of X and then the whole quantity square. And then you may say, what about the I then? What about the I column? the I column is going to become um, just the one, right? Because um, we got to put a DX right here, but then in when we are doing it in the uh, the rows or the tablet, then method, then we are going to just omit the DX. So we are just going to get a one right here. Okay, so just the one. And then now as you multiply all those three uh, expressions together, then you are going to get back to the original expression. So that's really just plus, right? Integral, and then ln of x, and then square, and then dx, right? I omitted the dx right here, so there's still a dx right here. Okay, so that's our original integral. Okay, so now we start going down the table by differentiating. So if we do that, then there was a minus sign right here because we need to take care of the, um, that minus sign comes from the formula, which is uv minus the integral of v du. That minus sign is being put right here. Okay, so now we got to take the derivative of this ln of x squared. How do we do that? It's, you got to use the power rule first. So bring down the two and then ln of x and then times one over x. 1 over x is the derivative of ln of x, the, the derivative of the inner function. Then you may say, what about this one? This one we got to integrate. Integrating the 1 is easy, which is just x. Okay, so put all this together by multiplying them. Then we are going to run into an integral with the minus sign. Okay, there was a 2 which is a constant, so we can keep it outside the integral. So we get two integral, okay? And then we have ln of x times one over x times x. Okay, so the x times the one over x will cancel each other out. So you don't, you are not going to get the x or the one over x anymore. They, it will just become a one. So basically you have the, just the ln of x right here. Okay, so now I want to just point out one thing here. Um, if you already know the antiderivative of ln of x, you can actually simply just write down the answer and we are finished. Okay, so uh, if you do not remember, we need to do a little bit more work. But it just happens that we already know the antiderivative of ln of x. Um, if you don't know how to get that, then you can actually watch my another video. You can see that in this. The, uh, the description. Okay, so what is the antiderivative of ln x? It is, so uh, we still got to put the negative 2, and then it's going to be x times ln of x minus x. Okay, and then we put the, uh, the constant of integration. And yeah, so the antiderivative of ln x is x times ln of x minus x. And so from here, we can actually just get what? We can continue with the calculation. So we are going to get negative 2x ln of x and then plus 2x and then plus the constant of integration. Is that good? Yeah, so that's that. But that's not the um, that's not the whole answer. We still have some other stuff. We still have the uv, right? So what do we? how do we get the uv? So we can just draw some arrows right here just to indicate 
this is u, this is v, right? So you got to multiply the u, v together. So the way that you construct your answer or try to come up with the answer is that you got to draw the arrows like this. And in this case, we have positive 1 times L1 of x squared times x, and then adding all that stuff. So the final answer would be positive 1. I'm not going to write it. And I'm going to write the x first, right? which is this x right here, and then this L1 of x squared. Okay, so we are having um, that. And then what else do we have here? Um, we will have all these terms right here. So we are going to get negative 2x, L1 of x, plus 2x, and then plus the constant c. And then we are finished with the problem. Okay. So that's it for this problem. And I actually have done another video showing how to integrate this using the traditional method. And so you can actually find the link in the description also. Okay. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like, and then please leave a comment. And then also please check out my other math videos. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you.